Sarasota continues to be ranked as one of the best cities to live in, and it's always on the top list to retire in. And you want to know why? Well, one of the biggest reasons Sarasota has been rated one of the best places in the U.S. to live is absolutely due to our beautiful waterfront location. We have bayfront, we have beachfront, and we also have a riverfront. And this all includes waterfront living. So if you've ever wondered what it takes to live a waterfront in Sarasota, then today's video is for you. Or actually, for anyone that just wants to enjoy some breathtaking views, amazing boating, beautiful landscaping, you're gonna enjoy this video. Now, I've been here for a number of years, and yet I'm always amazed how beautiful this area is. And when I drive over the Ringling Bridge or out to Longboat Key, it's just stunning. And I'm just in awe that we live in such a beautiful place. So stick around because today we are talking about waterfront living. But first, I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts, and my team and I love helping so many people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. Give us a call today, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos, which we do every week. All right, now let's talk about waterfront homes, waterfront lifestyle, and what you can expect. First, when we talk waterfront in Sarasota and Manatee counties, we have a few options. First, we have canals and canal front homes. We have keys with have harbor and gulf side living. We have breathtaking Manatee River. We have the Sarasota Bayfront. So there's lots of options when it comes to waterfront. And along all of the water, we have condos and single family homes as options. So if you don't want to take care of a home, we have condos. Sarasota is located directly along the Florida Gulf Coast, and we have over 30 miles of coastline. We also have, as I said, the gorgeous Sarasota Bay, and we're going to start by talking a little bit about Sarasota Bay and what to expect. Sarasota Bay is a subtropical estuary that is approximately 52 square miles. And an estuary is a semi-enclosed body of water where fresh water mixes with salt water. And this area features outstanding fishing, boating, and definitely beautiful wildlife viewing. Sarasota Bay and the intercoastal waterway are notoriously a little bit more shallow. And so for, throughout this area, the water depths are between six and 12 feet. And the water becomes much more shallow as you get closer to our barrier islands. Now, along the bayfront, there are amazing homes. From Bradenton to Nokomis and even further, you will find homes lining the intercoastal waterways. If these views are of interest to you, or you have a boat and you want to be able to jump on it at any time and take off, you will like this. And it might be exactly what you're looking for to call home. But how much are these homes worth and going for? Well, expect homes to start at approximately 1.5 million and quickly increase from there. If they're sitting directly on the water, if you have a dock, if the home has been built in the last decade, all of these factors play a significant role in the cost. And it's not odd to see many, many of these homes sell for over three million or even more, uh, depending on the size and the age of the home. There have been a large number of brand new homes being built along the bayfront in location where smaller homes were once there and they were torn down to make way for new. Downtown Sarasota is also home to condos with bayfront views, and they have the added bonus of this great location for exemplary dining and performances at some of our best venues. Downtown Sarasota is definitely experiencing quite a boom, and we are seeing lots of brand new condos. And many of these new buildings, a two bedroom, 1400 square foot condo can easily start at 1 million and be closer to 2 million when all is said and done. These condos are heavily designed with state-of-the-art amenities, activities for the residents. They are built with superb quality and top design features, making owning a home in downtown Sarasota very, very desirable. And as I said, we have a lot of them going and the prices are all over the board, but all over a million dollars. So what if you're not looking for city life and you still want to be on the water? Well, we have options for that as well. One of those options being living on the Manatee River in Bradenton. The Manatee River is a 36 mile long river. The river forms in the northeastern corner of Manatee County and flows into the Gulf of Mexico at the edge of Tampa Bay. 
Now there's, again, beautiful wildlife, great fishing, great boating, lots of beautiful landscaping. And the river also includes the Upper Manatee River Canoe Trail for paddlers. Beautiful. Living along the Manatee can be just as pricey though as living bayfront. Homes with water access will begin approximately 1.5 million and go up from there. The location and the convenience to the Gulf of Mexico is just amazing in these areas. And as I said, it draws anglers and boater enthusiasts from all over the world. So next, when it comes to waterfront homes, we also have to talk about our keys. Sarasota and Bradenton are lined with barrier islands. We have Annemarie Island, Longboat Key, Lido Key, and Siesta Key. All islands have a combination of homes inland and waterfront. Many of the homes on the keys will have canals and homes with docks and boat lifts. But we also have to keep in mind the depth and the width of the canals. It's not always easy depending on what size of boat you have, so we do need to keep that in mind. But Canal Home isn't just for boating. You can also throw a line and catch your evening meal right off of the dock. For a small canal front home on any of the keys, expect the price points to start about 1.5 million. I did recently sell one for a little bit less than that, but the owners are going to have to put in their own dock and lift and do a little bit of remodeling. If you're on a canal and minutes from the harbor or gulf, expect prices to start at 2.5 million and go up from there. If you're looking for canal front homes, but you don't mind if you're a little further inland, we do have some great options there and these will be under a million. For instance, we have neighborhoods such as the Inlets or Tidewater Preserve in Bradenton or Philippi Creek in Sarasota. Here, homes are priced closer to 800,000 and go from there. Okay, but what if you're just searching for a home on one of our keys and you want a golf view? Well, to begin with, you will find this area to be home to many, many condos. So many of these condos will have breathtaking views, beautiful sunsets you'll see for miles and miles. Now, some of the condos may even have their own marina. So if you have a boat, it still works really well for you. Condos golf front will start over 1 million and go up from there. So as you can see, it's very, very hard to be directly on the water for anything under a million dollars. One thing to keep in mind in looking for condos, most condos do consist of two bedrooms and two baths. It's very hard to find a three bedroom condo currently. Although some of the newer buildings may include three bedroom condos, but they're gonna start closer to that three million mark. So it's a little harder to find. Now homes golf front expect to start between three and four million dollars and quickly escalating from there. So as you can see, we have spectacular homes, but they come with spectacular price points. If you've been searching for your little piece of paradise on the water though, this area is for you. Sarasota is made up of over 42% of water. So it's no wonder we have so many amazing options. Want more information on waterfront locations? Be sure to give me a call today. As always, I really appreciate you watching and until next time, take care.